Hello everyone! In this video, let us discuss what is a circle. For the objective of this discussion, number one, define the circle algebraically and geometrically. Number two, identify the parts of the circle. Number three, graph the circle. Number four, how to write the equation of the circle in standard and in general form. Number five, how to transform the standard equation into general form and vice versa. And lastly, how to find the center and the radius of the circle. First, let us define what is a circle. A circle is a set of all points on the plane equidistant from a fixed point. The curve of the circle is made of points. Yung points po na yon is an ordered pair. Or third pair okay for example any point around the circle so this is our px comma y ordered pair po siya bakit kasi we're going to talk about the circle on a cartesian plane kasi si conic section po is under siya ng analytical geometry where in in analytical geometry it's a combination of geom and algebra Okay, so mula daw po dito sa point P natin, equidistant daw po yan up to the fixed point which is called the center. Kung ibig sabihin mula po sa point P up to the center, yan daw po ay distance. Distance na kung saan equal siya kahit saan mo po ilipat yung point natin around the circle. Ibig sabihin ng equidistant means equal distance. Okay, yung distance na pinag-uusapan natin na yun is called the radius. So, mula sa point P up to the center, that is the radius. So, kung nandito po yung point P mo, okay, same lang daw po sila ng distance. So, kung ito po ay 5 units, this is also 5 units. Kung nandito rin po yung P mo, this is also 5 units. So, equal lang daw po yung distance nila. Okay, so... Si circle is na form siya by slicing a right circular cone with a plane traveling parallel to the base of the cone. So in this figure, ito po yung base natin and this is the plane. Meaning, yung plane natin will intersect our cone that is parallel to the base. We can form a circle. Okay, kung titignan natin siya ng 2D, ito lang po yung plane. And then, ito po yung base natin. Dapat po sila ay parallel. Okay? So, let's talk about the algebraic representation of a circle. So, to find the algebraic representation of a circle, we need to find the equation of the circle. Kasi the geometrical representation of a circle is this figure. Okay? So, let's talk about the equations of the circle. Okay, from our general form ng ating conic section, we have ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals to 0, wherein si a, b, c, d, e are the numerical coefficients and si f is a constant. From that equation ng ating conic section, we can come up for a general form ng ating circle, wherein si a and c is equal. Okay, so this is the general form of our circle. So let's talk about the standard form of our circle. So from this illustration, as you can see on the right side of your screen, we have a point here which is named HK, so that will be our center. And then we also have a point around the circle, point PX, Y. From point C to P, from point C to P, so, yan po ay ating distance. Okay? That is the distance which is called the radius. Okay? So, para mahanap natin yung ating equation for our circle, so, kukunin po natin yung distance ng ating from C to P or yung ating radius. So, para makuha natin yung distance nyan, syempre, gagamit tayo ng concept ni 
distance formula. So, ginagamit natin si distance formula kapag ang given na point natin ay ordered pair. Two points. Okay? Two ordered pair. Na kung saan, itong distance formula ay originated naman po to kay Pythagorean theorem. So, may kita nyo sa screen sa ating figure, meron po tayo ditong right angle. Okay? Wherein ito po yung ating hypotenuse. Diba? So, ngayon, since Ordered pair po ang given natin, which is point C and point P. Yun po yung gagamitin natin dito, si distance formula. So, substitute lang po natin yung given para makuha po natin yung standard form ng ating circle. Okay, for example, ito po yung ating x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, substitute lang po natin. So, we have distance na hinahanap natin ay si radius. And then, ang x sub 2 natin ay si x, x sub 1 natin ay si h, y sub 2 natin ay si y, y sub 1 natin ay si k. So, ito po yung kanyang substitution. Okay? So, we're looking for the standard form. So, squared lang po natin ito para makuha natin yung form, general form for the circuit. So, magkaharam po tayo dito ng r squared is equal to the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared. Okay? So, therefore, ito na po yung magiging standard form ng ating circle. Okay? So, ayusin lang po natin siya. So, this will be the standard form of our circle. Kapag ang given natin na center ay any point around, okay, any point hk. Okay, so let's have an example. Write the equation of the circle if the center is at the origin and its radius is 4. So, pakita natin yung graph para ma-illustrate ma nyo po or ma-imagine nyo po kung ano yung itsura ng ating circle. So, kapag equation po ang hinahanap natin, ang kailangan lang naman po natin dito ay yung center and yung ating radius. Okay? So, from the problem, the center is at the origin. Meaning, kung nasa origin po, meron tayong center na 0, 0. Okay? And then, ang radius daw po natin ay equal to 4. So, kung ang radius natin ay equal to 4, para mag-graph natin sa circle, bibilang lang po tayo ng 4 units 4 units, left, right, up, and down. Hindi naman po pwedeng paslan kasi hindi naman po yan pwedeng 1, 2, 3, 4. So, hindi na po siya circle. So, hindi po ganun ang pagbilang. Up, right, left, down. Okay? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Bilang lang po tayo ng 4 units. Okay? And then, 4 units din sa kabila, 4 units sa taas, and 4 units sa baba. So, magkakaroon po tayo dito ng, okay, mga points na yan. Ibig sabihin, isa sa mga points na dadaanan ng circle ay nasa 4, 0, negative 4, 0. Pwede rin pong 0, negative 4, and 0, positive 4. Okay, yan po yung mga points na dadaanan ng ating circle. Okay, so, ibilog nyo lang po yan. Gamit lang po kayo ng compass or kahit anong pang bilog. Then, mula po sa center up to any point, yan po yung ating radius. Yan po yung r equals to 4 natin. Okay? So, since we have center and radius, makukuha na po natin yung equation. Kasi meron naman po tayong standard form, which is ito. And then, sa substitute lang po natin yung given. So, ito po yung h natin, ito po yung k, and this is the r. Okay, so we have x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared is equals to the quantity 4 squared. Okay? Kasi dito po sa equation na kailangan natin ay naka-squared, kaya 4 squared po siya. And then simplify lang po natin, x minus 0 means x na lang. And naka-squared pa po yan, kaya x squared plus y squared equals to 16. So ito na po yung magiging standard equation natin. And kung gusto naman po natin hanapin yung general equation, lipat lang po natin 16 si 16 sa kabilang side. So magkakaroon po tayo ng x squared plus y squared minus 16 equals to 0. So yan na po yung ating general equation.
Okay? So let's have another example. Number 2, write the equation of the circle if the center is negative 4, 3, and then the radius is square root of 7. Okay, so graph muna natin para makita po natin yung illustration. The center is negative 4, 3. So we have negative 4, 3. So nandito po yung ating center. Okay? Since equation po ang hanap natin, once again, ang kailangan natin dito yung center and yung ating radius. So given naman po yung radius, which is square root of 7. Okay, so paano naman natin igagraph yung ating radius na square root of 7? So, ang gagawin lang po natin, yung square root of 7, kunin mo lang po yung decimal point niya, yung katumbas na decimal point, kasi hindi lang po pwedeng 7 units yan. Kasi square root of 7 po yan. So, bibilang lang tayo ng 2.65 units away from the center. So, we have 1, 2, 3, yan na po. And 2.65. Okay? And then, bilang naman din tayo sa baba. 1, 2.67. And then, 1, tansyay na lang natin. 2 and 0.67. 1, 2 and 0.67. Okay? Tansyayin lang po natin. And then, ibibilog natin siya. Okay? So, since we have na our center, ito yung H natin, ito yung K. Then we also have our radius. And then, ito po yung formula ang gagamitin natin. Substitute lang po natin yung given. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng X minus negative 4 squared plus the quantity Y minus 3 squared equals to the quantity square root of 7 squared. Okay? So, since ito po ay minus and then plus, Ang rule po ni sign numbers, di ba? Ang mangyayari dito, magiging plus, magiging positive. So, therefore, ito ay magiging x plus 4 na. Ito naman ay x minus 3 pa rin po. And then, dito, yung square root of 7, isa simplify lang po natin yan. So, square root of 7 times square root of 7. So, the answer is square root of 49. Ano bang square root of 49? So, the answer is 7. Or simply, cancel mo yung square root sign, tsaka yung So, meron ka pong 7. Therefore, ang final answer natin will be x plus 4 squared plus the quantity y minus 3 squared equals to 7. So, yan na po yung ating standard equation. Okay, so paano naman natin gagawing general form yan? So, i-transform naman po natin siya from standard equation to general form. Okay, para ma-transform po ito, kailangan natin mag-recall ng certain topics. Okay? Pwede po tayong gumamit ng dalawang method. Depende po yun sa inyo kung ano gusto nyo gamitin. We can use the FOIL method or we can use the special product. Diba? In FOIL method, ito po yung first, outer, inner, last. And then for the special product, marami po yan. Maraming patterns i special product. So, ang gagamitin lang po nating pattern is yung square of binomial. So, yung square of binomial na to, we have the product is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So, pag nakita daw po kayo ng ganitong pattern, square of binomial, ito daw po yung product. Kaya nga siya special product. Kung baga, kung meron kang 4 times 3, 4 times 3 is the factor. 4 times 3 factor po yan. And then, yung sagot sa kanya, which is 12, yan po yung product. Okay, kumbaga ito po yung product na yun. Itong naka x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Yan po yung product. Okay, so, ang ibig sabihin po nito, di ba, yan po ay x plus y times x plus y. Ibig sabihin may dalawa kang x plus y. Okay, so ano daw pong ginagawa natin dyan? Square the first term, ito po yung first term, ito yung second term. So ang gagawin po natin, square the first term, copy the operation, and then, twice the product of first and second term. Kaya meron kang 2xy. 2 times x times y. And then, squared the last term. Okay? So, ito po yung pattern natin for the special product. E, paano, ka, paano ba pag minus naman yung operation sa loob ng parentheses? Katulad itong y minus 3. Ganon din po yung pattern na meron tayo. Okay? So, ibig sabihin po nito, x minus y, x minus y. 
Okay? So, ang product po niyan ay ito. Okay, we have, ganun rin po, anong nagkaiba dyan? Yung operation na ginamit. So, kung ang operation na given ay plus, gamitin mo po ay plus. Kung ang operation na ginamit ay minus, minus mo ang gagamitin natin. Okay? Sa dulo po, is plus lang po talaga yan. Kasi kung gagamitan mo to ng coil method, yung last, di ba? Y times Y. Di ba? Ang sagot po ay positive Y squared. Dito naman, kung gagamitan natin to ng foil method, so we have negative y times negative y, so the answer is positive y squared din. So pareho lang po silang positive y squared sa d. Okay? So gamitin natin yung ating quantity y minus 3 squared dito sa special product, yung x plus 4 squared kay foil method. Okay? Pero depende po yan sa inyo kung anong gusto nyo gamitin. Okay? Gamitin natin si Quantity y minus 3 squared using the special product. Once again, this is the first term, yung y. Second term, yung 3. So, ang pattern daw natin is squared the first term. So, yung first term mo is y. Squared lang daw po natin siya. Since ang ginamit nating operation is minus, so gagamit po tayo dito ng minus. And then, sabi dito, 2 times x times 1. Y, kumbaga, 2 times 3 times y. Okay, so magkakaroon tayo dito ng 2 times y times 3. Okay, and then squared the second term. Second term natin ay 3, so we have 3 squared. Okay, so ang final answer natin will be y squared minus 2 times 3, so we have 6. And then y na lang to, kaya 6y, and then plus 9. Okay, so this is the answer for the y minus 3 squared. Okay. Next naman natin gamitin ay yung FOIL method for the quantity x plus 4 squared. Okay, once again, ang ibig sabihin po ng x plus 4 squared ay meron kang dalawang x plus 4. So, gamitin natin si FOIL. Let's have our first x times x. So, we have x squared. And then outer, so we have x times 4. So, we have 4x. And then we have inner, 4 times x, we have 4x then. And then last, we have 4 times 4, we have positive 60. Okay? Then after po nito, i-combine lang po natin yung like terms. So, ang i-combine lang po natin dyan yung 4x at 4x. Yung x squared, wala naman ng x squared dyan. Wala rin naman na pong constant dito. ba? Copy lang po natin sila mamaya. So, i-combine lang po natin dito yung dalawang nasa gitna. So, 4x plus 4x, so meron tayong 8x. So, we have the answer of x squared plus 8x plus 16. Okay, so the final answer for quantity x plus 4 squared is x squared plus x 8x plus 16. Okay, next is para makuha naman natin yung ating standard, I mean the general form, yung 7i. Lipat naman natin siya sa kabila. So, magiging minus 7 equals to 0. Okay? So, balik natin yan. So, after po nito, nakuha na natin yung expansion. Next po natin is i-combine lang po natin yung magkakapareho. So, may x word ka pa po bang nakikita dyan? Wala na. So, copy. May 8x. Copy din. 16. May constant pa po ba dyan? Meron, di ba? 16. 9, and 7. May y squared pa po ba? Wala na rin. May 6y pa po ba? Wala na. Okay? By the way, ang pattern natin, una po ang quadratic term, next si linear, and then constant equal to 0. So, nahin po natin si x squared followed by y squared, and then yung ating linear term na 8x, and then yung 6y, and then 16 plus 9 minus 7, and then equal to 0. So, the final answer is x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 6y plus 18 equals to 0. So, ito po yung ating general equation. Okay, let's have another example. Okay. Write the general equation of the circle which is tangent or passing through the x-axis and the center is at negative 3, 2. So, graph muna natin si negative 3, 2, negative 3, 2. Okay, so nandito po yung ating point. Okay, next is identify natin or 
i-analyze po natin yung given. Sabi dito, equation na ulit ang hanap. So, kailangan po natin dito yung center, which is meron na. And then, yung ating radius, which is wala pa. Pero ang sabi po dito si circle daw ay tangent or passing through the x-axis. Ano pong ibig sabihin ng tangent na yan? So, identify muna natin yung mga parts ng circle. Balikan natin si geometry. So, this is the figure ng circle natin. So, we have the center. And then, mula sa center up to any point around the circle, yan naman po yung radius natin. Okay? So, ito naman ay chord. Chord is a line segment inside the circle, pero hindi po dadaan sa center. Ang tawag naman dyan ay chord. And then we also have a line that passes through the circle at exactly two points. Ang tawag naman sa kanya ay second line. And we also have a line that passes through the, cent the circle at exactly one point. Ang tawag naman natin dyan ay tangent line. Yung intersection ng circle at ng line natin is a point that is the point of tangency. Okay? So, in this figure, in this example, ito po yung point natin. Kumbaga, siya po yung center, di ba? And then, sabi dito, tangent daw siya sa x-axis or dadaan sa x-axis. Kumbaga, yung ating bilog ay dadaan daw po dito sa x-axis. So, identify natin dito yung point of tangency. So, yung point of tangency natin will be the negative 3. Okay? Tangent daw kasi siya dito. So, ibig sabihin, mula po dito sa ating point C, sa center up to the point of tangent C, dyan po natin makikita yung radius natin. Which is, ilang units po ba? We have 1, 2. So, bilang lang tayo ng 2 units para makuha natin yung graph na ating circle. Okay? So, now that we identify our radius which is 2, and then meron na din po tayong center, makukuha na natin yung ating equation of the circle. Okay? Naintindahan po ba tong ating tangent? So, once again, pag sinabi natin tangent to x-axis, ang radius natin ay ito. Kumbaga, dadaan po kasi dito Okay, ito po yung point of tangency natin. So, pag sinabi naman, the circle is tangent to y-axis. So, dito naman daw po siya tangent. So, hindi ka po i-stop dyan hanggang dito ka dapat. Kasi sa y-axis daw po. So, therefore, ang magiging radius mo dyan ay hindi na 2. Ilan na? Bilangin mo lang, 1, 2, 3. So, r is equals to 3. Kapag sinabing tangent siya sa y-axis. Okay. Okay, kunwari, nandito po yung ating, ating center, example. And ang sabi doon, itangent daw itong center natin sa x-axis. So, ito po yung x-axis. So, therefore, lang po bang units sa pagitan ni center up to the tangent line? Kasi ito po yung tangent line. Okay, yan po yung tangent line natin, yung naka-violet na yan. Okay? So, ilang units po ba yan? So, we have 3 units. So, ang R natin ay 3 units. Okay, kapag naman sinabing tangent sa y-axis, ilan po ba yung pagitan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ibig sabihin, r is equals to 5. Kapag yung ating circle daw ay tangent sa y. Okay, ganun yung po titignan yung ating radius. Okay, so balik po tayo sa ating problem. So, meron na po tayong h. Ito po yung h natin. Ito yung k. So, substitute lang po natin. So, meron na tayong x minus 3. And then, y minus 3 equals to 2 squared. And then, simplify lang po natin yan. So, x minus negative 3. So, magiging plus and positive na po yan. So, ang final answer natin will be x plus 3 squared plus the quantity y minus 2 squared equals to 4. So, ito na po yung ating standard equation. Okay? So, transform naman natin yung standard equation into general form. Okay? Gamitin ulit natin si foil at yung ating special product. So, gamitin ulit natin yung ating x plus 3 squared using the foil method. So, we have first, we have x times x which is equals to x squared. And then, we have the outer, x times 3. So, we have 3x, positive 3x. And then we have 
inner, 3 times x, we have 3x. And then we have the outer, 3 times 3. Sorry, last, which is 9. And then combine like terms lang po tayo. So we have x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay? So yan na po yung answer natin for the quantity x plus 3 squared. Okay? So next naman po natin gamitin ay yung ating quantity y minus 2 squared using the special product. Okay? So squared the first term, we have y squared. And then twice the product of first and second. So we have 2 times 2 times y. Okay? So we have 2 times y times 2. And squared the second term, which is 2 squared. So the final answer will be y squared minus 4y plus 4. Okay? So pwede naman pong gawin nyo 2 times 2 times y. Pwede rin po yan. Okay? And then don't forget, copy the operation. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung ating general form, nilipat po natin yung 4 sa kabilang side. Okay? So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng, okay, copy lang po ulit natin si x squared and then y squared. Sunod natin si 6x, tsaka si negative 4y. Then, isolve lang po natin si 9 plus 4 minus 4. And then, don't forget to equal to 0. Okay? So, we have final answer for the general is x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 4y plus 9 equals to 0. Okay? So, let's have another example. Okay, number 4, write the general equation of the circle if the center is at 5, comma 3 and the circle passes through negative 2, comma 4. So, graph muna natin yung center natin which is 5, comma 3. Ito po yung 5 and then comma 3. And dito po yung ating 5, comma 3. And then the circle passes through negative 2, comma 4, negative 4. So nandito po yung isang point natin. Okay, once again, if we're talking about the equation of the circle, kailangan natin si center, which is given, and then the radius, which is wala pa po. Okay? So, mula daw po dito kay 5, comma 3, and that's the center. Dadaan daw po yung circle natin kay negative 2, comma, negative 4. Kung baga, kung ito po yung point natin, andito yung negative 2, dadaan daw po sa kanya yung ating circle. Okay? So, given that illustration mula dito sa center, up to this point, yan po yung magbibigay sa inyo ng radius natin. Okay? So, paano natin ngayon makukuha yung distance natin for the radius? Of course, gagamit po tayo dito ng distance formula. Okay, so let's say ito po yung ating x sub 1. This is y sub 1. x sub 2, y sub 2. Substitute lang po natin sa given. So, ang x sub 2 natin ay negative 2. x sub 1 natin is positive 5. y sub 2 natin is negative 4 y sub 1 natin is positive 3. And then negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7 ulit. And then 49 plus 49. Okay, so 7 squared is 49 po, diba? And then 49 plus 49, add lang po natin yan. So we have 98. Okay, so ang distance natin is Pwede na pong square root of 98 or pwede namang uh, 2, diba 2 times, diba po yung 98 ay may factor po siya na 49 times 2. Where in 49 is perfect, so pwede po natin gawing 7 square root of 2. Okay, so depende po yan. Okay, pwede yung square root of 98 na lang or yung 7 square root of 2. Okay. So, in this case, ang gamitin po nating radius ay yung square root of 98 na lang. Kasi, di ba po, pag isa substitute naman natin sa given, sa standard form natin, matatanggal din naman po yung square root sa. Okay? So, yan lang po yung gamitin nating radius. Okay? So, now that we have the center and the radius, ito na po yung h natin, ito na po yung k. So, we have, we have 
h is 5, k is 3. Okay? And then yung r natin with b square root of 98. Okay, so wala naman po tayong kailangang isolve dun sa loob ng parentheses. So, okay na po yan. Ito na lang pong reduce. Okay, cancel lang po natin yan. So, ang matitira na lang ay 98. So, ito na po yung ating final answer for the standard equation. Quantity x minus 5 squared plus quantity y minus 3 squared equals to 98. And then, transform natin to into general form. So, using the special product, Expand po natin si quantity x minus 5 squared. Ito po. Okay. So, squared the first term. So, we have x squared. And then, 2 times 5 times x. We have negative 10x. And then, squared the last term, which is 5 squared. So, meron po tayong x squared minus 10x plus 25. Copy operation plus. And then, squared the first term, y squared, 2 times 3 times y. So, meron tayong negative 6. And, squared the last term, which is 3, 3 squared. Okay, so the final answer for the y minus 3 squared is equals to y squared minus 6y plus 9. And then, yung 98 po ay ililipat natin sa kabi ng side. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng negative 98 equals to 0. And then, pagsasamahin lang po natin yung mga pwedeng pagsamahin. So, itong x squared, copy, kasi wala na po kayong ibang may kitang naka-x squared dyan. Sunod mo na yung y squared. Sunod mo yung linear term, negative 10x. And then, isunod mo si negative 6y. And then, yung ating constant term. So, 25 plus 9 minus 98. And then, equal to 0. So, the final answer for the general form is x squared plus y squared minus 10x minus 6y minus 64 equals to 0. Okay? So, that's how we find the equation of the circle. So, next naman natin is hanapin yung mga properties ng ating circle.